This is a Thunder Game Report. Hi, I'm Randy Renner at Chesapeake Energy Arena, where the Thunder and the Cleveland Cavaliers getting ready to start. Both teams coming in looking for a win. The Cavs have lost three straight after a six-game winning streak. The Thunder have lost two in a row. They've not lost three straight since the first year they were here in town, three straight at home. Also, Cleveland has a lot of injury problems tonight. Anderson Verajao won't play, and uh, Dion Waiters won't play, and C.J. Miles won't play. And, of course, for the Thunder, Kendrick Perkins is out. So Steven Adams will be making his fourth start of the year. The Thunder, though, are 0-3 when playing without Kendrick Perkins. We had a chance just a few minutes ago to talk to both Thunder head coach Scott Brooks and Mac Brown, the coach of the Cavs. Uh, definitely two of the better point guards in the league. Um, I got a chance to see him up close. Did not like what I saw at the All-Star game. He, he was phenomenal. Um, he's a great player. He's, uh, he has, seems like the ball's on a string, just either hand. Uh, his layups, his layup game is some of the best in basketball and his three-point shooting. He's, he's really, really a talented young man that is, he's hard to deal with. We have to make sure that we don't give him any easy shots. Uh, we have to make sure we have our pick and roll coverage intact. You know, Steven is going to have to make sure that he is there right at the point of, um, of the screen because if you give him an, uh, any daylight, he's going to be able to get through there. Do you feel like you might need to play Russ more tonight, given the matchup? No, I mean, Russ, we've been on, you know, some minute restrictions with Russ, so he's going to play uh, the minutes that we have set out for him. Um, but everybody's going to have to guard. You know, we, we have the ability to, you know, if Russell gets in a quick foul, we can throw a Tobble on the point guard and vice versa. Um, and that's, that's what we like to do. So, I mean, Russell's going to get opportunities to guard him, and Russell's going to get opportunities to guard Jack. Uh, but th that's, that's, how we, that's how we defend. Yeah, just continue to focus on uh, on the game plan, uh, and we try to keep it, you know, pr pretty simple. Uh, but it's impactful, you know. Run the floor, both ends of the uh, uh, the court. Uh, be a force down low. Uh, protect the rim. Protect the basket. Protect the paint. Guard pick and rolls. Uh, those are those are things that every big has to do. You can't. You can't take possessions off. There's point guards that are so dynamic in this league, and we, we've seen that firsthand. You know, you have to be able to help um, guards stay in front of screen and rolls. So, uh, but I think he's progressed well this year, and he's going to get great opportunities in the next six weeks. Yeah, I mean, that's what I love about Nick. You don't really have to talk about him because you know exactly what he's going to bring to our team. He's a glue guy that just is, he just focuses on on trying to make the right play every time down the court. But he's going to get opportunities uh, to play, and he's always seems to be uh, right in the mix of every winning basketball play. Um, and that's what we expect. We, we expect that out of him. So if he doesn't happen, that's that's kind of like an odd situation. But Nick is a winner. He just plays. He plays as hard as he can. And, and while he's out there, whether you give him 10 minutes or 30 minutes, he's going to give you everything he has. Yeah, I mean, he's going to get opportunities. You know, last game I was planning on playing him, but, you know, they, a lot of times they were going with a three-guard lineup. Uh, or a smaller lineup, but he definitely will get opportunities. He's worked his um, his practice times. He's worked hard, and he works before games. He's prepared him. He's preparing himself to get an opportunity. So uh, when he does get in, I expect him, and he expects himself to play well. But he's 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 going to get opportunities. Uh, I don't know, you know, when, um, but definitely soon. Maybe tonight. Um, I haven't I haven't seen that or anything. Um, but I mean, what do you want me to comment on? Where where is it coming from? It, it was just an NBA. I think you guys can test like twenty four percent of jump shots, something like that. I mean, you talk a lot about testing shots. Well, I, I talk about uh, no defending, there's no question. You know, we've been 
uh, one of the better defending teams in the last three years, and there's no uh, there's no doubt the last three games hasn't been the case. Um, teams have shot. I think the Lakers 49 percent, Miami and the Clippers in the low 50s. So that's something that we're not happy with. So if that has anything to do with that 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 stat. You know, I totally agree. We're not, we're not, we haven't been good defensively the last three games. So we definitely have to change that around. We, I do um, focus on not uh, ex exclusively on defensive field goal percentage. And I think the last I checked a couple of games ago, we were second in the league. Rest on that minutes restriction. When do you uh, lengthen that out? Uh, not totally sure right now. It's, it's, it's game to game. You know, he's... It's not like a benchmark situation like when he was going through rehab where he might go five games and miss... No, I mean, we've, we have some things set out. I mean, I don't want to go into the, the specifics of that, but, you know, it's, it's definitely, you know, his conditioning is much better than last week, and next week it's going to be much better than this week. I can talk about Zadrunas for an hour. I... I We've been in a few um, minor fender benders my year with him, and I had to take over the driving. Uh, he's out of control. Great. I mean, Zdrunas was one of the best teammates I've ever had. Just, uh, just a great, great teammate, a great, great for the city. Just love Cleveland. Um, yeah, it was, it was an experience. I uh, just got on the team, so I stayed with him for a, a month or so in his apartment, and that was uh, an interesting evening. Um, he's just, he's, I mean, he's a fun guy. He's a fun to be around. I'm so happy for him, all the success he has had in his career, and, and I think the retiring his jersey is, is definitely well-deserved, and he's definitely proud of the Cavaliers, and they should be proud of him. His car. No, he had a. What did he have? I think he had a Navigator. Is that a Lincoln? Is that? Yeah. Yeah. No. Bobby Sura had a had the Hummer. Yeah. Yep. Good stories, Mary. That's some good stories for you. No, I, I when I played, I dressed like Russell. Russell, Russell got some of his looks from me. What is it you notice about them on tape that you're emphasizing tonight? Uh, I mean, they, they don't run a lot of different sets and stuff like that. Uh, they have, uh, you know, Scott Brooks done a nice job here, uh, but they're they're very good defensively. But they they spread you out more than anything else, and they spread you out in the pick and roll. They try to spread you out in transition, and uh, so uh, they're very good in that area. We got to recognize who we're guarding and try to get the bodies in a timely manner. What do you know about Steven Adams making his first start tonight? I mean, he's big, strong, uh, athletic guy, and uh, he's very physical. I mean, he will hit you first, second, and third, and uh, his motor never stops. And so we, we have to do a good job because we haven't done a good job. You know, the, the last three teams that we've played have been uh, have had pretty big bigs and or active bigs, you know, however you want to call it. And we haven't done a great job with them. Uh, on the glass and in the painted area. So uh, tonight we're going to have our hands full with you know, Collis and Abaca and Stephen Adams. Could we see the two bigs together again tonight, Tyler and uh, Stephen? Uh, Spencer? Yeah. I mean, you know, we feel like uh, those guys could play together, especially if the matchup warrants it. You know, now, uh, you know, maybe if we're playing, you know, Dallas and Dirk Nowitzki's at the four, it might be a little tougher matchup for one of those guys. But uh, we feel at times those guys can play together. Didn't ask you last night. What'd you like about the switch? Why just go to Spencer in the starting lineup? Uh, you know, we just felt he fits a little bit better with uh, Tristan in terms of spacing the floor and playing off one another. And then, but on, on the flip side, we also feel that Tyler fits a little bit better with uh, with AB. You know, I guess both those guys, when you got AB and you got Spence on the floor, they both want to pop. 
you know, and they want to play on the perimeter. And so at times we got five guys on the perimeter, and and uh, you know we're not quite to that point where we can play like that all the time. So uh, just to balance the the, the the group a little bit more, uh, and, and I like what I saw at, at, at times. <laughs> what do you need to do better offensively than you have recently? Well, you know, we we got to a point that, that where we were really moving the ball well and. Uh, we're driving and kicking fairly well and uh, understanding what uh, spacing the floor means. But, uh, uh, you know, our defense has, it had picked up too. And, and uh, so with our ability to score a little bit better and our defense picking up a little bit better, uh, it translated into some wins, you know. And, and yeah, we got guys out right now, but, uh, but other, guys have, other guys have to step up, especially – you know, now we're, we're we're playing stretches of teams that are or playoff teams, or that are a little bit better than record-wise than the teams we beat in the six game when we were on the six game winning streak. And so, it is imperative that uh, you know because the guys that we have out uh, obviously can't play, it's imperative that the guys uh, that are getting the opportunity now step up. Not necessarily score 30. We're not asking them that for many of them, but step up and try to play the right way and contribute in any way, shape, or form they can to helping us getting a win. Is there, one guy, is there one guy if you saw a little bit more out of him you think it would make a big difference on the team? One guy in particular? No, I, I mean, I, again, you know, this is this is a team game and, uh, you know, there, there aren't many, you know, Kevin Durant's out there, you know, who can go for 30, 35 on, on, on any given night and help, help you win. And so for us, it, you know, it's got to be a collective uh, group effort, and we may have different guys at different times step up. Uh, yesterday, uh, Mark Cuban apparently said that uh, since Adam Silver became commissioner, teams are getting a lot more response when they express officiating concerns. Have you guys gotten any of that stuff? Uh, or gotten any more feedback from the uh, league office on officiating in the last few weeks? I mean, I felt like if I sent clips in before, you know, I got a response. And if I send clips in now, I get a response. I don't know if that's going to change the officiating, no. But, you know, I mean, I, I, I've, I've always felt like I got a response. So uh, if that's what you're talking about, I felt like I got a response. But, I, you know, other than that, I, I can't you speak have, on it. You haven't it seen I'm, any difference in the last few weeks. Well, no, because you know, cause, you know what happens at the end of games. You re, when you watch the tape, you know you see particular play calls that you may have a question on, and you know if you, if you do see those, you send them into the league, and you get a response back from the league in terms of how they viewed it. And sometimes they agree with, you know, they they agree with what you're asking and what you're saying, and sometimes they they don't. But they'll tell you after reviewing the tape what the right call in their mind should have been and why and what the ruling is and all that other stuff and. And that, that for me, has uh, always been the same. Now, that, you know, there, there's other stuff that Mark gets into that, obviously, that I'm not privy of, neither or any of us, any of you guys. So he may be talking about something different than what, what I'm explaining now. Before that, Scotty Brooks with the Thunder tip-off coming up tonight a little after 7 o'clock. The Thunder big favorites tonight, about a 15-point favorite over on Outman Cleveland Cavalier squad. We'll be back here, of course, after the game. We'll have post-game reaction from Inside the Thunder locker room, so click back right here at InsideThunder.com.